All right, recording. Welcome, 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 welcome to the RIP 28 podcast. This is the RIP 28 podcast. It's a podcast where a few friends get together and we talk about a few things. Now, some of those things you might like, some of those things you might not like, but we keep on talking about them on the RIP 28 podcast. I am, as voted on by a committee of members of the female version of the was that the hellitic nine the, the hellitic black nine the, let it go you know whatever <laughs> but i was voted the world's sexiest podcast host slider sports guy i'm joined by a few of my good friends and well the president ain't here let's start off with your favorite teacher's favorite teacher what's going on lbz what it do what it do it's your boy bz the goat your favorite teacher's favorite teacher. Here to kick it again with my my coordinated crew. My oh, yeah. coordinated. We got to be coordinated. Yeah. Uh, then, come right. on, Cobb. You with it? <laughs> you right. Speaking you of Cobb, it? speaking of Cobb, we got the richest one we know, S. Commas. What's going on, S. Commas? What's up, good people? How are y'all? We good. Oh, hey, we got to add an AKA, to, not an AKA, excuse me. A, mm. uh, also, she's better known as, excuse me, better known as more commas than dots. She got more commas in her. More commas <laughs> than dots. Yes, sir. There it is. I ain't going to say how many commas we didn't count them, but that ain't nobody else business but the Rip 28 podcast. Man, she right, rich. Carl? <laughs> she she rich, 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 rich. rich. She got yes. money. 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 Whatever. But you know, it's funny, man. You talk about us being in all yellow. We all color coordinated. We might be wearing yellow, but we ain't we ain't yellow. We ain't scared <laughs> like some Definitely. of these rappers out here today, man. <laughs> these, Call them rap out. these rappers out here scared, man. There's a lot of lot of beef going on in the rap. Put an address man. on it. <laughs> you know, first you start off, I guess, well, I guess all this stuff kind of started off with, uh, you know, Drake has been subliminally throwing shots at Kendrick. That's what they like to say. He's been throwing shots every now and then. Drake threw a little shot. And then Kendrick came out on a uh, Future and Metro Boomin song and had the last verse and kind of said, fuck three, it's just big me. He wanted to make it real clear to the people. And then after he came out with that, J. Cole came out with his comeback. And in J. Cole comeback, which I thought was a decent comeback, you know, it was a decent, nice little jab he threw out there, you know, nice little song. But then this fool going to uh, apologize the week later, this rap beef. And he apologized a couple of days later, talking about his mental space, his mental health. You know, these, these new school kids, man, they're a little bit softer than we are, but, you know, but, <laughs> but, your boy Drake come back, and Drake let him know. Drake just came back, and he was, huh, dropping give me 50, talking Oof. about Kendrick and his shoe size, and just, oh, <laughs> just Bro. real insulting. Just, to say uh, he belittled him is is an, understa <laughs> is an understatement. <laughs> he was belittled in the worst way. <laughs> come back. And, he, and I'm going to tell you what I like. Is the AI he did with Snoop Dogg voice yeah. and Tupac voice? Well, now, that was know, dope. I, 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 I felt I was, a way. Of, I felt I was, a way about him using Tupac. I was <laughs> kind of explaining it. That was going down the timeline. Thank you for <laughs> thank you for interrupting my, my timeline. As you know, come on, man, come on. I was I, helping you out. Well, I, I'm the world's <laughs> sexiest podcast host. See, I'm host. You you co-host. You know, so ain't nobody coming see you, Otis. They want me to break this down for you, man. Come on now. God damn. Can't even can't even get right because of y'all. But anyway, anyway. Um, yes, since he said he did use the Tupac hologram or the Tupac whatever it was, and and he did something with Tupac, had Snoop spit a verse about how disappointed they was in Kendrick. And that, you know, that was pretty cool. Now, I, I like that. I like that. You know, I like good light skin beef. Drake Drake came out trying to win something for the light skins. Drake trying <laughs> to do something for the light skins. He he trying to push uh 
Matt Barnes out of the way of the hardest light skinned dude in the world. So Drake, I, I I see you, Drake. I see what you're doing. But speaking of light skinned <laughs> beef, I got damn Chris Bobby Brown. That goddamn Chris, he went and summoned the spirit of Bobby James, all the badass Browns, man. <laughs> <laughs> Leroy, Leroy, bad Leroy Brown, Leroy, and my, my daddy, and my daddy, daddy, my man, my man dropped the diss song that was like, oh my goodness, I was like, this is the rap beef I was waiting on, and it had to be a singing ass light skin dude to drop the, <laughs> to drop the rap beef that I wanted. This is what I wanted the the and you know what man one thing about these new rappers man they have all these discs and then they kind of they do all these subliminal messages man they won't say nobody name they won't come out and say it I like the fact my man came out and said his name that's what I like so uh first take Jermaine Cole is not a battle rapper so I understood why he came out and apologized for the the diss that he dropped. Cause that ain't J. Cole's thing. Like he just, he ain't gonna beef with nobody like that. That's not his thing. But Chris Brown, I woke up to text messages about Chris Brown's rap. And all I could think was Quavo just need to drop a gospel album. Mm. Just just Good food say gospel. <laughs> gospel just, album. Yeah. Just look, just sit down for a little while. <laughs> Come back with a spirit filled album and we'll forget all about Chris Brown ripping your heart. Out. No, we won't. That ain't going nowhere. That's up there with no Vaseline <laughs> and all that, man. Dog, this dude, you talking about putting a name on it. He ain't put a name on it. He he almost destroyed my boy, dog. He just quite don't need to apologize. Just to say I'm not a battle rapper. I don't know. I was in the bad. Hit, I'm still grieving. Yeah, I'm still grieving, man. And man, man. But, but that man said, "I wish everybody wished that that you had died." So I was like, "God." Man. He said, "When Takeoff died, everybody wishes it was you instead." I said, "God dang, now Chris, now who won't beef with me?" That what Chris said. So like you say, Shauna, you say put an address on it. That's what Breezy did. Did that. <laughs> did that. But, but I mean, you talk about a dancing, singing, <laughs> painting, <laughs> light-skinned dude who just went all the way to the left on this dude. Alvin said Quavo just fired back. We do not care. At this point, Quavo would have to have Chris Brown mama on video <laughs> before we like, oh yeah, 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 you got him. <laughs> but, but my thing is, man, you got these dudes, man, they in here, they are, all right, first of all, first of all, Chris Brown is, you know, your your biggest thug. He, he's a super thug now. He's, he's a super thug. But what I don't get, though, man, this dude is from Tappahannock, Virginia. I don't know if you ever been there. But it's a little small place, you know what I'm saying? A little small place. It ain't no gangsters, ain't no thugs or no shit like that in Tappahannock, Virginia. And then he got on the scene at 15 years old and has become a superstar at 16 years old. So my thing is, when do you become a hardcore thug when you done been a superstar, you know, most of your life? You done been a superstar since you was a child. How did you become a, a blood? How did you become a real blood? Did they jump Chris Brown into this gang? How, how, did, how does he become a real thug? And then he's called monetary value. Oh, okay. <laughs> and then he's you got way in. he bought protection. And you got Quavo. Quavo shout he from the north. No, nowhere has anybody in any history of Atlanta ever said Gwinnett was North Atlanta. <laughs> <laughs> that has never been that has never been said. Gwinnett is not Atlanta. <laughs> Gwinnett is not Atlanta. You know, you not from the north. You you not from North Atlanta. You not. And hell, even if you are from North Atlanta, that means you from Buckhead. So how is, you know, come he on. He definitely now. ain't scared of nobody from Buckhead. He ain't scared of nobody <laughs> from <laughs> Buckhead. <laughs> So, man, you got the two softest rappers in America who want to be thugs. Now, 
now they out here rapping against each other. But you know, hey, say and what we're you both like. talking about beating women. And but yeah, both point the know, finger. Is that the pot? But Chris said he slept with that man girl. <laughs> While he was with her though. But you know, <sighs> but but you know what though? So man? disrespectful. <laughs> you know <laughs> it, it, it's disrespectful. I do I do <laughs> love the disrespectfulness though. Totally disrespectful. I you do. have no regard for this guy. No, I do love the disrespectfulness, man. Like man, like I said, he got he got to have a, a, a picture of Chris Brown mama for me to be like, yep, yep, he got him back. Yeah, what is, what are you doing? What are you over there doing? Uh, I, I, had to, I had to lay back in my chair, man. I just I had to lay back and get all this in, man. I'm in the the Rip Twenty Eight Studios over here on the couch. Man. <laughs> Where's Pepe? <laughs> Where's Pepe when we need him? Our producer kind of took the night off, man. He, well, he he around the corner eating dinner. <laughs> he yeah. oversalting his uh. Take <laughs> <laughs> some of that salt off there, Pepe. Pepe. That's too much salt. That's two season. That man says That's too much season. <laughs> you know, Pepe Pepe gonna have said. high blood pressure. <laughs> At the right old age to 13. <laughs> yeah, hypertension. In, in the RIP 28 studios, man, we do things <laughs> big over here. That man yeah. said he gonna put some olive oil on. He's gonna put the olive oil on. <laughs> and the two seasons took me out, Johnny. Hey, that's two seasons. Yeah. Sounded like a granddad. Let's do my season. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, Pepe had a little bit too much seasoning on the dinner tonight. Pepe got heavy handed. He said the ancestors didn't tell him to stop. Yeah. Oh god. He learned it though. He learned it. He, oh, Lord. He's a master, he's a master oh. chef though. So I, I leave oh. I leave Pepe alone. <laughs> I, I leave Pepe alone. trying to kill the whole house. Yeah. Didn't let him know daddy ain't got daddy ain't got okay. no insurance money. What up, Siobhan? We see you out there. We appreciate you. Ashante, we see you out there. Joe Tucker, my man Joe. We see you out there, man. Everybody checking in. Who else does check in? Big Al, we see you, Big Al. Big Al up in the place. Siobhan and Ashante represent for the light skins out there. Chris Brown. We see mm -hmm. you. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you talking about talking about light skin? They pop up like <laughs> they come out the woodworks. The light all skins, of, hey, light all skins. the light skins showing up. Light Today has been a day for the light skins. Today, the yeah, <laughs> they feeling good. Drake, what they call them? Champagne Poppy, and uh, no Diddy. Um, I bet they sitting yeah. right there now, pop popping. <laughs> Oh, Chris Brown in there eating them up. <laughs> yeah. What, what Drake? What Drake doing that video with him and Chris Brown? This is a snake. You see that snake? <laughs> Chris Breezy in there doing it. Yeah, but I still for, said, yes, definitely Team Breezy. <laughs> we but, knew that. <laughs> but I still, I still just can't understand. No, how is Chris Brown a thug though? How is this man? I don't, I don't get people who who become thugs after they grow up. <laughs> The <laughs> same way, the same way that the former correction officer can yeah. assume somebody else's name, whole and identity, then, and then all of a sudden <laughs> he's a gangster too. He free Ray Ricky. He 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 running. He running. And this man's still alive. You take someone's name, and the man is still alive. That's like somebody going call me Sly. And then he had to. And then he called somebody else fake. I was like, wait, hold on now, Ricky. They can't hold take on, Rick. I can't go. With Ricky, that, you good? You a good lyricist, Ricky? But you still was Officer Ricky and assumed somebody else's whole identity. He didn't take a part of this man's life. <laughs> All of this man's life. Come on, man. Come uh -oh. on, man. Big Al said, "What we ain't gonna do is talk about Rosie." Uh, or Rose. No, no, no. I know what I said. I know what I said. Rosie. I know what I said. Don't, I said. don't I said do Al Rosie. like that. You know what he meant. 
Come on, come on, <laughs> come on, class of '98. Show up for the, show up for the big ass rose. You come on, man, man. But but yeah, man. It, but rap. But here go the thing, though, man. A lot of people saying Chris Brown. I mean, Chris Brown went too far. They say he went too far with his diss or with his rap. Me, and I think, man, we all from the same generation, man. I know. I know. Hopefully, y'all don't think he went too. That's what rap beef is. <laughs> You supposed no. to you supposed to go for that man Nick? No, we not yeah, getting there's... on no rap beef to give compliments. Mm -hmm. Hey, you a great rapper and you making money? No, we won't. You supposed to destroy your your <laughs> opponent? Biggie, some of the stuff Biggie said. We gonna put some a Aaron out the chat <laughs> for like this this dude <laughs> Aaron. You you got out the chat. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, nothing's off limits in a rap battle. Nothing. I, I said, except for kids. I you, don't even you think. Can... I don't think your kids. Your kids well, is is free game. Well, you rap about my kid and see what happens. What? Well, that's the. <laughs> well, that's the thing. That's the thing. Come back. You no, I ain't come coming. Back. I'm coming back, but it ain't gonna be with no rap. Wait a minute, <laughs> man. When you think uh, my kid is off limits. That's oh, why yeah. my kids are off limit. Don't don't do it. No, sir. That's why rap uh, beef never ends up in a good place. Hide the world yeah, from exactly. the kid, but trying to hide the kid from the world. <laughs> oh. Man, I'm saying that uh -uh. that rap, that diss caused this man to reveal a whole child. Nothing is what? off limits in a rap battle. No. Well, that's that's your opinion, and I'll I'll agree to disagree. But and if we get into it, when I start dropping lines about Messiah this and Messiah that, bring it. Bring it. Bring it. All right, Sean. Boston ain't nothing but a flight away. I'm gonna let my mom, I'm gonna let my mama take care of that call. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I'm looking I'm at gonna tell my mama. We got too many laughing emojis up under Aaron Nance. Uh, <laughs> goddamn comment, man. Ron, Shauna, Michelle Taylor. I am so disappointed at you, Michelle Taylor. I, I am fucking hurt. I mean, it's the light. That, yeah, right there, your light's a little better. You know what? Where's Pepe? Where's Pepe? But I told, but I told you my... that before the show started, though. It ain't it... like that's a secret. Kiss my ass. <laughs> What up, Bam Whoa. the bar Bam the bartender? A Whoa, potty man. Bam. What, what up, up Bam? See bam. You checking us out. Oh, Bam. <laughs> but you know, um, she team breezy too. Come on, Bam. Make better she, make better she choices in your life. She yeah, that's what it is. It's them light skinned folk, they stick together. But they you, do. But then here, here the other thing, though. I, I'm team nobody. I'm team nobody because I can't be team Quavo because this because you can't fuck. understand what he's saying. I don't know what they're talking about. And now right. he did. Bruh. Da -da, <laughs> da -da, da -da, da -da, say it. I can do it. And re and repeat everything. Oh my mama! Oh my mama! What? Repeat everything. I repeat everything. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. But you know what, though. No. One thing I I will my favorite thing the Migos ever did was that damn um, Bama Lama story that they read the children. Oh, book. Lama Lama the red Lama. pajama. That was yeah. the greatest thing I ever heard out of them clowns. Actually, <laughs> that, for me, it was when they were on a carpool karaoke with James Corden, and uh -huh. they would do it Whitney Houston, oh, and they I sit when the that. night falls. My lonely heart calls, and one of them is going. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. It sounds like you like that, Carl. <laughs> That's what Do it one more time. What they was doing, Carl? I'm not. I'm not. <laughs> <Yeah. All right. laughs> we found I'm out not. what Carl like. Carl after dark. I'm yes, sir. <laughs> Whatever. Moving right along. Oh man, man. I, yeah, I just I don't get them guys, man. I, I don't get them guys, man. You know, people. People make dumb choices and do dumb things, man. You know, and speaking of dumb choices and dumb hold things. Hold on, hold on. Can I just say this? It feels like that beef could go off wax, though. That's the only thing that scares me. It feels like like they going to see each other in the streets. Well, and see, this is something. That's what no. I don't want to happen. Like, I but, don't want to see. Just keep it on wax. 
but this is this is something that Charlemagne brought up on the Breakfast Club today. Those two were sitting beside each other at uh, Fashion Week. They were sitting right beside each other at uh, Fashion Week, and it didn't happen. Now, if you hate each other just like you say you hate somebody in your rap, you hate them that much, I, I'm not going to sit beside you for a whole, first of all, I ain't going to no fashion show. What the fuck I look like going to Paris Fashion Week? You know, that's a whole other thing. We've, we've <laughs> seen how you dress. We know uh, that. Uh, you know what? <laughs> My wife didn't dress me today. I, I dressed myself. So we can tell. <laughs> but, <laughs> but what but what I look like, what I look like sitting beside somebody at a fashion show. You're gonna be too hardcore rapper. Well, Chris ain't no rapper, but you're supposed to be a hardcore rapper and you at fashion week, man. I don't get these new guys, man. I don't get these new dudes, man. Ice Cube ain't going to no fashion show. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Come on, man. <laughs> They got to go and shoot somebody or something. Make me believe. <laughs> Shut up, fool. Well, like, if you like, you already said you became hard after you were an adult, and you bought your way into a gang. Yeah, you ain't hard, man. But I still think Chris Brown will beat Quavo in a, 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 a straight up one on one fight. I got Chris Breezy. If it ever what? does go to a fight. Well, just, it, the, you know, just the fisticuffs. He yeah, ain't gonna fight fair. He ain't gonna fight fair. So yeah, he gonna pick up whatever's around him. <laughs> them two, them two, all they gonna do is sit and dance in the ring. Now they might have a break dancing contest in the ring. It would bring back Steve Harvey and what was that? What's the little, the little, the little boy group? And they had the dancing movie. The dancing movie. B two K. B two K. They had the dancing movie <laughs> with Steve Harvey. And he was the dancing judge. Yeah. <laughs> oh man, I can always remember that shit, man. But Steve Harvey was the dancing judge. How do you remember that? The dancing judge. Yeah. <laughs> but anyway, man. But but yeah, man, it's it's like sometimes, man, people make mistakes, they do stupid things. But speaking of people Dude. doing stupid things was the guy uh Porter, what's his name? John Tay Porter, what's his name? Yeah, John you know Tay, um, yeah, John Tay Porter and his brother Coben. Yeah, Coben is hope. the one that Coben is the one that just got yeah, six years. Yeah, you yeah. got a whole family of stupid. You got a whole family. What up, Trey Jackson, Adrian Nicole? We see you out there. But you got a whole family hey. of stupid. You got the first one is uh, well, I guess we do it chronologically. The brother got. A DUI? Did he kill somebody with the DUI? Yeah, yeah. Yes. He, and that's not, you know, man. You know, man. These new people, man. I don't trust these new people, man. They get DUIs. How you get a DUI, man? You had to learn how to lie, drive drunk and make it home back in the day. We could do that. You could make it home. <laughs> over, drunk, over over serving yourself. Nah, man. There've been plenty of times where. Somebody I knew overserved themselves and made it back home safely. It wasn't Most me, Mama. I, I I never did that, Mama. Um, well, <laughs> I've been I've been fortunate to have muscle memory a lot of times when I overserve myself. I'm like, this <laughs> this muscle memory is getting me home for <laughs> sure. Not that I advocate driving in that state. Never, never. We do not do that on the Rip Twenty Eight podcast. Not. We do not. But somebody did tell me one time long ago, anybody can drive sober. It takes a real driver to drive drunk. So, but anyway. Well, that, we're not following that advice. Yeah, we we don't right. follow that advice. That part. We don't, we don't do that. We, we want to be safe. Yeah. Uh, well, and now just get a rash here. Where's your Uber? Get an Uber. Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. But did, I don't know if he played basketball or not, but a lot of these leagues have people that you oh, can yeah. call <clears throat> When you go out, because they know you're going out. Mm -hmm. Or they have you... discount codes for their right. athletes if they are trying to do lift. They get a lift discount. Right, right. You just got to be smarter than that, man. Be um, smarter than that. And and I definitely, well, you know, well, send out our condolences from the Rep 28 podcast to the family that lost their loved one behind this. You know sure. what I'm saying? Because not only is the Porter family going through it, but that other family is grieving as well. So, you know, we send that our condolences out, man. But you just got to be smart, man. <clears throat> it wasn't a good week for the Porter family. Mm -mm. 
It, 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 well, you know, I guess when you say you got to be smarter, smarter don't run in the family because here go the main thing is Jonte Porter. This dude has gotten a lifetime ban from the NBA for twenty one thousand dollars. He bet the, the, the Porter family is down bad right now. Yeah, they down. Bad. Yeah, <clears throat> yeah. I hope he took the under on the family because. <laughs> Yeah, oh, they got left at the what the sister and the, and, and the Michael Porter Jr. for the Nuggets. They <laughs> got a sister. Game. I hope she. I hope she keep her nose clean. I hope so. I hadn't heard nothing. But this dude, this dude was betting on himself on some of the uh, prize picks or you know one of those uh, gambling, one of those gambling uh, yeah apps, game picks and prize picks or something. You know, so his thing is, and what they do for those who don't know how that works. Um, like let's just say they set the line at four. You need to score. They say you, you uh, is this person going to score more than four or less than four? That's what you can choose more than four or less than four. So what he did, he went and put bets that he would score less than four. And he went out there and didn't score more. And you know this, this man has made two million dollars in the NBA so far, and still has an NBA career that are going for you know couple of more years, five, seven, maybe 10 more years, but he risked all that for $21,000. Yep. 20... That math ain't mathing. That's son of Carl pocket change. He risked pocket everything change. for Carl. She traveled change. with that this weekend. She traveled with that this weekend. That's, <laughs> Shut up. That's Carl <laughs> strip money. That's Carl strip club money. You know what I'm saying? Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> so, yeah. There's so you, this... Carl. No, it's not. <laughs> so this man done risked done risked everything for that. Come on, man. Hey, Sly, but check this out. You and Carl, um, Michael Porter Jr. leaked Adam Silver's number. Uh, his Yo, phone number. Like, what, what is wrong ago? with these people? Yes. <laughs> what is wrong so with these people? He ain't, he ain't totally out of the water either. So he leaked the, the commissioner's uh phone, the personal phone number, dog. I don't know which which uh parent got the chromosome is missing. <laughs> they passed it on to these boys. But something ain't quite right. Listen, dog. And he thought he was gonna get banned. And he got a chance to be, I don't know if he'll be a max player, but he got a chance to make more than two million dollars in the league. I can tell you that much. So he yeah. better he better be straight because his brothers are setting a bad example. He got we to make money not. for them. He got to make money to put on their books. We might need we might need our unofficial official uh legal advisor, D. Nicole Bates Davis, to help us out. We see you out there checking us out. She might need to give hey, some, Mickey girl. Boys some uh some advice, man. She might need to give these some yeah. cats some advice, man. You, I hope you he just... got somebody on retainer. Well, well, she can't. Unfortunately, she can't give them common sense. Yeah, Cause those two true. common sense things right there, you don't need a lawyer for that. You shouldn't. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> call an Uber. I'm drinking. Hey, or oh, his brother. Hey, man, call me an Uber. Get get somebody down here. But Brian, how many times though do we see people who should be in a position where they know that they should take an Uber or have a driver or something, and they Every risk day, it all? Be. Every day, and they dude. risk it all. Like it just, it it baffles me that people would put themselves and their careers at risk like that. That they would jeopardize that. Blows my but mind. Not, but not only have they hurt their family, so I mean hurt themselves, but I mean, they may be married. They may have kids. Now their lifestyle is going to drastically change. You know yep. what I'm saying? But. It, I guess big. I guess their brother a look out or whatever. They, I don't know. He gonna be sending them JPay. <laughs> <laughs> Got them JPays. They gonna be like <laughs> smoking them cigarettes. Hey, them wait a minute, Lucy's. Carl. What you know about JPay? How many? How many of you? You got people. I thought you kind of said it. Don't, don't, don't worry about what Carl knows, Shawty. <laughs> oh, excuse me. <laughs> worry about yourself. 
Hey, thug like Chris Brown. She became a thug when she left Columbia High. Don't worry about it. First of all, I went to Columbia High. You got to be a little thug then going to the high. Don't act. No, that, not not back then. Not back then. We were just good people back then. But if you were going to and you couldn't fight, boy, you in trouble. <laughs> don't, don't put don't put that on my on my alma mater. We ain't got to put it on. All you got to do is open up the paper. That part. <laughs> just, just watch up, uh, watch news the party. news. <laughs> Damn. Oh, but I ain't gonna do that to my album model. Shout out to Look, the, uh, cause now it's our classmates' you. kids. Oh, <laughs> I see them up there, but I ain't gonna call nobody names. I see the kids out there showing up. <laughs> act, hey, acting like you did in high school, but I ain't gonna say nothing. That part. <laughs> yeah, my business and shut my mouth. And drink my water and mind my business. And mind my business. I would drink my to ta- um my tahina treat, but um Yo what? Tahina treat. I don't think it's called tahina treat. <laughs> Definitely is not. It might be Tahitian treat, maybe. <laughs> Yo, what? Maybe let me tell you, let me tell you, man. I named it after uh Tahina Pop yeah. I call it Tahina uh, Treat. No, I promise right. you. That's why. Right. Come on, man. I am okay, the okay, educator. Chance okay, Chance Jr. Okay, Chance Jr. The keep, educator on, educator. Hey, you keep on talking. Now I'm going to iron the collar of that shirt. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to buy you hooked on phonics. Hey, Brian, that, that ain't about ironing. That elastic is gold. It just hey, man, needs, this is, this, it just needs this, a new This is one of, of the last... This is one of the last... Washington Redskin shirts out there. This is a relic. I'll look never let it go. Yeah, I would look, never let like it go. On, you look just like the man on the front of it. I would <laughs> never. I would never let it go. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? You, you oh know what? Lord, man, y'all ignorant. But that's why I love you. All right, we on the Rip Twenty Eight podcast. Don't be muting me. <laughs> man, don't put me on the mute. We on the Rip Twenty Eight. Uh, Brian, shout at me, and then I'm gonna try to mute us. No, Brian, remember no. that episode of Martin when fans? I feel sorry for your turn next. <laughs> <laughs> we gonna get that man some elastic for Christmas. <laughs> we going I don't know why he ain't got no neck that that. that. <laughs> we, we gonna put all of y'all out. <laughs> put all of y'all out right here. Siobhan and Nikki, y'all got too many laughing emojis going on. <laughs> Slow down with all the goddamn laughing emojis. <laughs> too, too many laughing emojis. On. Slow down. Oh, man. They might have been laughing oh, at a previous joke. A previous no, they joke. Definitely, man. definitely laughing at that color on that t-shirt. Yeah, no. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, Nikki, like, man, if you're going to even say you're the unofficial official, put some respect <laughs> on that collar, man. You can't do hey, that what up? What up, Perchise Washington? Thank you for checking us out. That's Bam Mama. That's Bam Mama for real? Yeah, Bam Wait, that's Bam the bartender, 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 bartender Mama? I believe. Let me make sure I'm right now before I go spew it don't, don't, don't be putting, don't be putting the wrong don't be putting lies in the street now. I could be lying. No, that's I'm right. I'm right. Oh, okay. Let me check my friends list. <laughs> Wait a minute, is that see? That's Patrice Washington went to school with us, right? Yeah, that's what I'm trying to tell. Come on. Hey man, we ain't I ain't know we had little people watching. Patrice show, man. Washington. I thought, I thought we oh. was a I thought we Bam, you done fooled us, Bam. We thought you were grown. <laughs> See, they, bam, I'm glad your mama came in here because somebody was going to get out of pocket before it was bam, like, bam, bam, grown. Bam, grown. We thought you, we thought you were grown. Bam, bam is grown. Okay, okay. Yeah. They, just, they both of the mom and the daughter just have great taste to watch our show. I'm about 30. Shut up. Okay, my bad. My bad. My bad. <laughs> My Patrice Bell. Name. See, that's who I know. I know Patrice, yeah, Patrice Bell. Bell. I, ain't you know, know. I ain't know the married name. See, that's, that's put some okay. put some respect on that married Bam. name. I put hey, Bam. I put respect on that marriage name. I put respect. Bam say she about thirty. Bam, you still ain't gonna talk to us like that. We 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 had now. I ain't gonna say where we had. It. it ain't your business, Bam. But thirty. <laughs> Every, everything on, ain't for everybody, bro. <laughs> <For> everybody. <laughs> 
Oh man, y'all you know, crazy. We, you we do you do have wonderful taste. This is an awesome show. This is this is an awesome show. We appreciate you checking us out. Make sure you tell a friend. Make sure you tell a friend. Make sure they sub subscribe to the show. Make sure they subscribe to the show and all of that too. And, and you uh, when I when you buy me that hook on furnace, you ain't even gotta buy yours. I'm gonna share my other shit. Because you go share maybe shit. there'll be <laughs> maybe there'll be buy one, get one free. <laughs> Y'all gonna stop playing me like that. Y'all know I'm the letter reader on the show anyway. So you know, No, sir, you're not. You know I'm the number one letter, letter reader. Well, that's because have... you read it five times before we get on the air to make sure you got the words right. That's, that's Matt, because I don't have much com competition <laughs> with the people with the people on the show with me. <laughs> Ain't none of y'all smart. That's why. Hey, you notice his head came Move within a <laughs> You know what? Tired but, of but, this dude right here. <laughs> Tired of this dude right here too. Both of y'all. <laughs> Both of y'all can be. You gonna music. stop Come you on, man. Bro, bro, but, that, man. Bro, but that neck big enough to hold that head up though. It just my ain't producer, got nowhere to go. My producer taking care of me. He don't want y'all talking about Pepe in here saying no y'all would not talk. <laughs> <laughs> tell Pepe yeah. they gonna take some of that seasoning out that food. <laughs> Pepe, you don't talk to us until you stop giving that boy that hypertension. You, hey, you know what, man? Like y'all need, y'all need to. <laughs> Pepe gonna be on the meal plan at fifteen. <laughs> y'all need to slow down because meal prepping. We're gonna transition <laughs> out of this and talk about this listener letter that the people want us to talk about. All right, let's go. The people want us to talk about this listener letter. I hate my husband's friends. You know what? Uh -oh. I don't know your husband, but I hate my friends too. <laughs> <laughs> I hate what up, my fellas? friends. What up, fellas? And my beautiful Shara. Liar. <laughs> no, they lie. No, they lie. Anyway, Ooh, rude. I have a problem. I have been married for three years to the man of my dream. No diddy. But his homeboys are from mm -hmm. my nightmares. <laughs> we got married in another state. But I had a job opportunity in his home state, so we decided it was best to move. I knew of his friends before we moved, but I didn't know that they were asses. <laughs> At our <laughs> old place, my hubby rarely drank or smoked. Now he goes out with the crew every other Thursday. I will be home by myself, and he will come back smelling like cigars. He takes me out, but he seems like he has more fun with them. Mm -mm. When we were in my hometown, he would love to hang out with me. Uh, wait a minute. Wait, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Hold on. <laughs> wait a minute. Got there, producer. Rip. Pepe is Pepe. fired. Pepe, get right, dog. Pepe is fired. Right. Let me get back on track. I would be home by myself, and he would come back smelling like cigars. He takes me out, but he seems like he has more fun with them. When we were in my hometown, he would love to hang out with me and my sorors. Now he just wants to kick it with his boys. He says, I am tripping. Am I, or is he wrong? Hmm. Can I go first? <clears throat> yeah, go ahead. Bitch, get a life. I'm sorry, I had, I'm sorry I had to say that about oh, oh. like that. Too. Like he got Tourette's. We might, we might, we might have lost the listener on that, on that one. For comment. sure. But come on, man, come on. This dude, from from what we gather from the letter, all right. They got we got married in another state, but I guess if you go down further, you will see they used oh. to be a in her hometown. They used to live in her hometown, but she got a job in his hometown, so they decided to move back to his hometown. Now, she's mad because he goes out with his crew, and they say every other Thursday, that's every other week, him and his crew go out, and they go out drinking, and I guess they go to a cigar bar and smoke a cigar and kick it. Now, she's mad because he seems like he has more fun with her. Well, I mean, with them. Listen. Judging by their letter, I get it. <laughs> you know, I, I have more fun with them. You seem like, a, oh, why would they want to hang out with you? And this this what trips me out is the, um, 
she was talking about when they was hanging out, it was all good when they was hanging out with her Sora. When they were hanging out, when she was in her hometown and they were hanging out, it was all good. But now she's in a new place. And I'm guessing because she's in a new place, she doesn't have her built-in friends and built-in relationships like she did when she was home. So That's what it sounds like. like. So here's the thing. Yes, you are tripping. Your man ain't out doing nothing. He just kicking it with 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 his whole boys every other week. Not not to mention the every other week piece is it for me because that means that you have every other week that you can find something that he likes that you all like to do together and do it. This man is in his hometown. He probably hadn't lived with his friends in the same town in many years, okay, at least three years when they were living in her hometown. So this man back with his people and he want to kick it. And I just yeah, sorry you gonna have to you gonna have to eat that yeah. one. Just let yeah. it go. And and the simple fact is, not once did she say she suspect him of doing anything that has to do with infidelity. She didn't say anything that he's not taking care of his responsibility, and she didn't say anything that like when he's not <clears throat> with the boys on that Thursday that they don't spend any time together. So it she's seems gotta, like she's just kind of jealous. Or she's got to find her community. Friends. She's yeah. got to find her community. That's what that yeah. is. She needs to find a chapter there that she can get active in, or she go. needs to find her her people because then she's not upset about him going out with his people. That's all that is. She don't want to be at home alone. I get it. But girlfriend, you're going to have to let that man go out. Or how about this? Why don't you take up cigars? Since he was always hanging out with you and your sorors, why don't you start smoking cigars and you go hang? Nope. I get nope. it. She don't said, do that. Don't she said that. that they're that they aren't uh good people, but uh maybe she should like start smoking cigars and hang out with her husband at a cigar bar if that's what and he wants this, to be. Check this out though, but she said they're asses. But how are they asses just because they're still kicking it every other Thursday with the with a homeboy that they've known for how many years? So what is it about them that make them asses besides they're hanging out? With a homeboy, and, and my th my thing is, Sean. I think I think you 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 missing the boat on this one, Sean. When you say she needs to take up smoking cigars, and and I, I don't want to put words in your mouth, so correct me if I'm wrong. But I hopefully you wasn't saying that she needs to go and hang out with them too while they smoking. That's an option. If if she no, expecting him to hang out with her and her girls, why can't she go kick it with them? No, nah, that is not. Because they, they grimy and you can't trust the dudes. I get that too. No, it don't even have. <laughs> right? It ain't even just, got nothing to do with that. Well, now, Carl. That's what it sounded like. No, it, it don't. It don't got nothing to do slack. with them with them being grimy. With them being grimy, it's like yo, <laughs> when you hanging out with your fellas, you really don't want to hang out with your wife at the same time you're hanging out with your fellas it's not it's not that you're going out doing grimy shit you just hang you kicking it with the boys what i don't understand is why was he hanging out with her soros that that's what i don't get i wouldn't want to hang out with a bunch of he stuff. had not he had nothing else to do that, but clearly was. he wasn't concerned about finding his own community he was good being there with them ain't no telling she didn't suspect anything, so I won't even make any assumptions about what the man was doing with her friends. But he didn't, like, it wasn't a necessity for him. He was good being in that space. Now he doesn't want her in that space, and she just got to find something to do. She got to find her community. I'm and it's every Sean, other man. week. It's every other week. Like, girl, the weeks when he ain't with them, y'all need to do stuff together. Find you something to do. I'm with Slido, but I don't see how he could uh, be around just women all the time like that just i don't know and like you said it was nothing I mean, said I about had him, suspected anything but, i wouldn't have had him geez. around me and all my girlfriends because i just can't imagine that my man wants to spend time with me and my girls all the time <laughs> but to each their own <laughs> yeah 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 man you know shout out to uh unofficial official <clears throat> legal Counsel D Nicole Bates Davis. She said, "Slide, you're right. Yeah, you. I thank you. I agree with you. I am. I am. But uh, who else out there? Big Al said everyone needs their personal time. Yes, that's no true. Doubt. Everybody need, need their personal time to kick it with their people. Who else? I saw some. Uh, Patrice Washington said she's lonely, but she did say his friends are ass. 
she has to find something to do. That's yeah. just her. I opinion. think that's the consensus. I think the consensus is she needs to find something to do for herself so that she's not upset when he goes out with his people. Definitely. But it's every, but you said something called like this every other Thursday. It ain't like she said they're going out Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, like frat boys and like we did in college. She's talking about two days out of a month. Mm -hmm. you know, go, exactly. Go, go sot your ass down. <laughs> go sot your ass down. And chill out, man. Because what she will do is kind of push him away with that. Because then she becomes a little too clingy and it can, not saying it will or it does or it has to in this situation, it could make the relationships full. Because if you're spending all your time together, then what are you seeing that's different that, you know what I'm saying? Man, go get a hobby. Yeah, take up crocheting. Takes up a lot of your time. Those Wednesdays when he's out doing, those Thursdays when he's out doing something, find something for you to do. And that, and that's what it is. You can do bingo by yourself. Yeah, bingo on Thursday night still. Go ahead. And yeah. play, Take play yourself bingo. to the movies. Do something. Go, go to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> go to sleep. That's free. That's free. You ain't got to do nothing. Go take you a good shower. Get you a good glass of wine if you like to read or watch you a movie, your favorite show or, or, or cook or whatever you do. Just find your niche. And, oh, you know, you know, you know what she, you know what she can do. She can watch a Tubi movie. I tell you what, she can do that's even better than a Tubi movie. What's that? I mean, there's two things, but one of them I can say on air. Um, <laughs> your mom, your mom is listening. I know she just left. So, um, but anyway, Mama, I ain't talking about that. She could just find episodes of the Rip Twenty Eight podcast and watch them. I know she'll it's be entertained. Very true. Very Come true. On. That time it won't be wasted. That's Very true. true. She, she could she could do like me. I've suddenly got into Korean dramas. She could get on Netflix and start watching some Korean what, dramas. What, 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 what she can do is listen Damn. to the Rip 28 podcast. Like Damn, Sean, you need a man. Kid. Let's let's go and restart the shot of the man fun. <laughs> that's let's, right. go and, let's go and restart the shot of get a First date. of all, the, the K dramas are good. Thank you very much. <laughs> let's go. Please, if you're willing to donate to the Cash App us at dollar sign <laughs> rip twenty-eight. Cash App us, please, at dollar sign <laughs> rip twenty-eight. We're, we're going to uh buy Shauna a date. <laughs> I'm good, please. thank you. Please, Don't need let's, it. Let's uh let's let's do this for our friend because <laughs> she's sitting over here watching uh Korean dramas, please. They are good. Shut up. Cash out, cash out, please. <laughs> Dollar sign rip to eight podcast, please. So we can do it for the culture. Do it for the culture. Just do it for the culture. Do it for the K drama. Hey, wait a minute. Bam the bartender. Stow. Whoa, whoa. She talking about or make her own podcast. We don't need no more podcast out here. Bam. Bam. No. See, bam, you and Shauna, we're gonna ask y'all to stop coming. Cause we y'all saying the wrong things right now. Me? The wrong things. Slide. Tell them where they can find us, man. Just in case she's watching, she'll know she'll know where she can find some of our old episodes, man. Because yeah, she needs a life. You, you need to check out. Make sure you check out all our episodes, man. We're all over the place, man. Where, where, where we at, man? We on uh YouTube, YouTube. Obviously baby. on Facebook. We on Podbean, Podbay, Anchor, Spotify, anywhere you can stream a podcast. You can find the world's greatest, man. And you know we ain't talking R. Kelly. Look at Pepe, We're the talking. producer, coming through, man. Pepe, Drop. finally. Drop. Drop his stuff <laughs> off for uh, hey man. You pay sure. to take a shot of that vinegar. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Get a Pepe had to throw a potato in there to soak up some of that salt. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Pep. Young Pepe. Yeah, yeah, man. So she got it. Google Podcast, Cast Box, Heart Radio, Pocket Cast. I mean, hey, Apple Podcast. Instagram, Everywhere. you have no reason. You have no reason, young lady, to be every other Thursday to have nothing to do. Nothing. No we just reason. we gave you all the options there is to do. 
And basically what we're trying to say without being rude is get a life. <laughs> get a life. Get a life. <laughs> trying to be because, sweet and nice. And yeah, we it. trying to be sweet and nice, but get a life. And I think, you know, those Thursday, every other Thursday go smoother for you. Correct me if I'm wrong, Carl. If I'm wrong, tell me. Shout I'm with you when you're right. Shout out to Melissa jumping in, checking us out. We hey. appreciate you checking us out. Hey. I think I put a poll up somewhere. I put a poll up. Is she tripping? Now I don't know where the poll is at, but yeah, you might have. <laughs> that's been. the way to. That's the way to do it, Pepe. Yeah, <laughs> Pepe ain't gonna, man, Pepe Pepe gonna do what Pepe gonna do. <laughs> Pepe go Pepe our every producer. time. Oh, oh! We we get what we pay for with Pepe. <laughs> oh, I keep, hey, I keep forgetting ahead, about son. yeah, I keep oh. forgetting about how freaky y'all. Uh, uh, well, you did are. say you put up a poll. I thought you were going to say in the <laughs> in the kitchen or in the bedroom where or the, something. A, what in the kitchen? Oh. Hey, I don't judge. Hey, I don't judge. Sean, that's that's that extra, <laughs> that's extra season. That's what Use extra season. No, R-, R. Kelly made a whole song about it in the kitchen. Yeah, that was good. Hey. Yeah, but that song, I don't think it was about you, uh, Pepe. <laughs> but but yeah, man. Um, <laughs> shout out, we see you, Susie. And, and look at that, James Ashford is watching the show. This this month. What up, James? <laughs> no, we're not speaking to James. <laughs> oh, dude, hey, you should have seen Kurt. Y'all should have seen Curtis Payne out there. Um <laughs> <laughs> he looked just like uh, he got a little curly kid in the top of his head. Now he looked just like <laughs> Curtis Payne. Was he ashy like, like Curtis? Boy, that dog was <laughs> ate up, man. I ain't want to say that, son. I want nobody business now. <laughs> James, James done went and got that man piece and put a little curly kid on top of that man piece. Man. Yeah, man. <laughs> Not a curly kid. <laughs> you got it. They got, got a little it. band too. Got a little band too. <laughs> He got his S curl up in that thing, man. That's hey, James, you can say hello to me and Sly. You disrespectful, dog. You disrespectful. I spoke to James. Y'all didn't. Y'all did. I said Uncle Curtis. Just for me. Oh, Melissa left a comment. She says she's in a new town and don't have friends and anyone outside of him. I moved to my husband's hometown and I still don't have friends. But I also enjoy my own company. Well, Melissa, hey, listen to the podcast. If you chill it on your own, just check out the podcast. Make sure you subscribe. Make sure you go to YouTube and subscribe. We Melissa, how friends. long have you how long have you been in your husband's hometown, Melissa? I'm curious. Well, we'll hopefully James say without haters, you would never be great. Y'all hating on that man. <laughs> really <laughs> kid. Ain't nobody said it was a bad man piece, James. No, no, it wasn't bad. He looked like Curtis Payne. <laughs> hey, we can't even tell. Yeah, you look you look sharp, man. But it was on the real note, it was good to see you though, uh Captain James. Good to see you, my boy. Steve, Steve Harvey. Oh, 14 with a years, Carl. I see that. Well, <laughs> Melissa, uh, 14 years. You- <laughs> <laughs> should have found at least one friend in, in 14 years. Well, let's let's say she ain't got no friends. Well, let's just say after friends. Well, I she 14 years. Like year or so. I thought she was going to say 18 months. Melissa's got land and everything. Well, listen, if you, if you don't have no friends in 14 that's years. That's your baby. hometown now, Melissa. Yeah, Melissa. Yeah, that's, that's your, that's hometown, your town now. now. <laughs> hey, hey, you say 14 That's your years spot. You don't know nobody, Melissa. <laughs> now. We gotta, we gotta see what's going on with you. <laughs> join Toastmasters or something, shit. Who just join a book know. at this point. Just Melissa, just join a book club at this point, and <laughs> get your book club friends, Melissa. Melissa say she good. Well, Melissa, yeah. we'll be your friend, Melissa. We your friend. Just make sure you check out the old episodes. Make sure you subscribe. And I would say tell a friend to subscribe, but yeah, <laughs> ain't no need. Tell, tell some of your friends back in your hometown to subscribe. Tell your family to subscribe. Tell your hubs to yeah, subscribe. Tell your I don't yeah. know if you if you have any friends in Pakistan, they would already know because we are the number. I don't know if you know this, Melissa, but we are the number three rated urban podcast in Pakistan, Melissa. I don't know if you know that, but we we big in Pakistan. If you don't know, now you know. Baby. And and Nigeria too. We big in Nigeria for some reason. 
That's a like scam. It. That's a scam. We don't know well, Nigerian numbers can't be true. <laughs> well, nah. I mean, nah, because I'm waiting on I'm waiting on my homeboy. You know, no disrespect. I got a homeboy. I got Somebody a homeboy no disrespect. Who, whose brother is the prince, and he just waiting on the, his his bank account to get right the so he prince. can send me the money. I keep. I keep. The yeah, prince. the prince, so he, so I can get my money from him. That's what he says. I'm gonna get the money so. When I yeah. tell you the man got his own money, baby, the boy got his own money. <laughs> but yeah, but anyway, man, hopefully, hopefully, our, our, our listener, man, you know, you can take our advice, and our advice is get you a life. You know, I don't know if that, maybe I shouldn't have said it like that. I might need to think of a nicer way to say it, but your man, your man ain't doing that. Your man just chilling with his people. And I think you are you are tripping a little bit. You you are tripping. So don't try to don't try to stop his <clears throat> his fun because he's not doing anything wrong. So there you go. There you go. Um great advice, Sly. Great advice, Sly. Well, that's what we do, man. We give great advice here on the Rip 28 podcast. We give we give great advice. Um, so but as we get close, man, I'm looking at the time. I'm looking at the time, man. I think now is about time for us to take a walk. Oh, wait a minute. This Friday is my 21st wedding anniversary. My husband hey. and I would drive each other crazy if we were together all the time. Being married doesn't mean you lose your identity. That's all right. That is, that 21 years. Right. Y'all are illegal. Of legal drinking age. Mm -hmm. That's a long time. That's only one can write all the one can rival that is T and J. <laughs> now, I, don't, I don't know. I think I think Nikki, I think Nikki been drinking for a while. So oh, shut up, boy. <laughs> Wait a minute, Sly. Now we we're not gonna put that out there against uh Nikki now. We're not gonna she do that. they can start drinking early in Japan. What she was <laughs> drinking in Japan. That's what that's that's my story. Hey, I'll tell you that in my close. I'll tell you something in my closing comments. Oh Lord. All right. <laughs> But you yeah, man, wait. it's about time. It's about time for us to take that walk, man. We got to take that walk down the 90s block. You know how we do. We like to talk about the the uh, best decade ever, the 1990s. And I don't have anything to talk about in the 90s, man. <laughs> <laughs> I was just about to say, what is we talking about? Pepe didn't Pepe didn't come through. Who Pepe. are we getting what we paid for with Pepe? I swear. <laughs> no. our, producer, our producer be on that bull. He be on that bull sometime, man. Ooh, but uh, Pepe. But but the 90s block, what we will talk about in the Oh, 90s. how about how about this? How about we do um in uh in honor of the late great oh, Rico Prince. Wade. Oh what? Uh, well, and not of the late great Rico Wade, yes, R.I.P. Yes. We can do Dungeon Family tracks from the Ooh. 90s. Mm. Yeah. Just saying. I mean, you know, some of the Prince, greatest. Prince died two days ago, though. The anniversary. Correct. And days. my all time favorite. But I'm just saying, I said Dungeon Family first. Yeah, yeah. Hey, it was James, more, Dungeon <laughs> Family had more 90s hits. So. Hey, James said, won't you do the 90s rap beat? We don't listen to James because James don't pay his dues. <laughs> James, don't, James don't pay his dues, nor does James come on the show. Yeah, dirt. Hey, you're not gonna talk to James like that. My house might be on fire. And James is gonna save me. James so, gonna save James, me. Went, go James wouldn't James. piss on your house if it was on fire, apparently. Yes, he will. James, James is be my, we sitting his ass in the, in the truck man. anyway. James don't even get out the truck. That's James. what supervisors do. <laughs> they sit in the truck eating the sandwich. That's what supervisors do. Let's go. That's my boy. Hey, but you know what, though? I, I ain't going to say Jay eat a sandwich. Jay done slimmed up. Jay done lost a little bit of weight, man. That is a shout out to my boy. Give Sly your tips, James. See, here you go. <laughs> wait, wait a minute. Pepe, Pepe, go and mute her. See? My boy, James. Mute got her, Thank Pepe. You, That's my boy. Mute her. But anyway, we go. What what were we gonna do? Uh, Rico Way Dungeon Family. We're gonna do Dungeon Family '90s tracks. Dungeon man, this shit. That's tough, man. There's a lot of good. You Absolutely. know what? You know what? My favorite one hit wonder out the Dungeon Family. Watch for the hook. Come on. I, 
I used, man, that was my song. Right Freddie there. Calhoun, the coolest cut in camp. See, that's yeah. the cool breeze. He's known as a chick. Come on now. Uh, watch for the hook. Watch for the hook. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That 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 would be the one I go with for the nineties block. What what about you, Kyle? Oh, it's so many. It's um, a lot. He got a it's lot. It's a lot, a lot. I'm gonna go with a, a heap of help of fried chicken, macaroni and cheese, and collard greens too big for my jeans. Come on, soul food. Come and Come get your soul. soul food. Well, well. Dang, you messed up the rhythm on that one. No, no on soul. Soul. Come on now. Yeah. Everything, Everything is gonna be. Come on now. That's what I got. I'm going with soul food. What about you, LBZ? What you got, Ooh. Brian? Carl, I'm going to have to go with you, Carl. Man, soul food. <laughs> and Miss Lady, acting like we in jail, say she ain't got no extra hush puppies to sell. <laughs> Man, all of them have family songs, and you got to copy her. <laughs> but I, I mean, that was one of my favorites. That was that was one of my favorites, dog. I mean, come on. What you want you me to do? Lie for the you don't know none. Just say you don't know none, bro. You don't know. Come you on, know. Man. Come on, man. CeeLo, for out of all of them, you gonna tell? Come on now. I'm from the same <laughs> area you from. Don't do Brian like that. Don't do Brian like I'm that. I'm from the same yeah. area you from. We just look. We we seventy. We seventies babies, man. You eighties baby. Yeah, still the same era. You know, we went baby. to school together from yeah, from all the way through. <laughs> Come on, y'all in the comments. Who you got? Favorite Dungeon Family track from the nineties? What y'all got? Jay Who's said favorite me Dungeon and family you. Member? Jay said Yo me mama and Dungeon your family cousin. Member. Then two. Oh, three stacks without question. Three stacks. Mm, I'm without I like question. Gip. I love Big Gip for some reason, dog. <laughs> I love Gip. Gip was my dog. <laughs> but and I Gip, think. He, I watch him on these podcasts and all these little things. Not guilt, just ATF. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's my dog. Guilt was my guy. Is that good enough for you, Sly? I didn't say I, three stacks. I like I like CeeLo, man. I think CeeLo the most talented member. I, I, I might can go with that. You like CeeLo because y'all are, are kind of similar. Built the same. same. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. no, hey, hey, that, that one insult I ain't going to take, though. That he, one, I, that one he, I ain't going to take, bro. That, he hey, built just like him. Look, you like CeeLo You start fighting up in here, bro. <laughs> <laughs> you know, Look, Brian. Off, both, of them, Brian both of them BMWs. Body made wrong. Body made totally wrong. Come out in all his butt. First of all, I am I'm a, I'm a Division One athlete. Okay, look at that net. Okay. Division <laughs> One that? athlete. What? That call the <laughs> down here, call. Division One athlete. The shirt. What you call them shirts with that they hang down like that? Um, no this shirt. Plunging. He got a plunging. He, his, his net collar is plunging. <laughs> it quit on him. <laughs> that elastic is a quitter. <laughs> this shirt. <laughs> this shirt. <laughs> <is> <laughs> I would not stand for this. Story. This shirt is this shirt is is nineteen years old. That elastic say I can't take this. No, you know what, more. Pepe, Pepe? Do your job, Pepe. Pepe, do do your job, Pepe. You know what I'm saying? Too late, Pepe. I'm all back home. Let these people. Let these people. Uh, bother the bother the. Pepe, do your job. Do your oh, job, Pepe. Pepe. Hey, even Pepe say the hell with it. <laughs> Pepe no we right. Pepe sitting over there going, yeah, that neck pad on that shirt, both. <laughs> you know what? It's time to leave, man. It's time to end the show. Any part shots, man. Oh God. Any S dot commas. What you gotta say before we get out of here? Oh, oh hold on. Y'all niggas, y'all niggas is never coming back. Wake up the president when you need him. Let me get myself. <laughs> See what happened when the president lead the show. Everything goes straight to hell. When the president lead the show. Hey, James said you look like Faison. <laughs> Jane, I done gave James a compliment and this how he treat me. Oh, my goodness. This uh, how you treat me. I done gave okay, him. Uh, all right. I'm ready. I'm ready. <laughs> okay. Love all your people. Um... Lots of people leaving this earth, what we consider to be too soon, man. Uh, it's never too late to make amends with people. Reach out to folks, let them know you care. Love on your people.
LBZ, LBZ, what you got to say before we get out of here, LBZ? Man, the only thing I want to say is we need to get back to community, community, strengthening these communities. And I want to give a shout out to my little league baseball team, the CP Reds. We are the only undefeated team at the park. So shout out to my guys and my girls. See y'all at 5.30 hey. tomorrow. If you ain't ready, you better get ready. Love y'all. Shout out to the CP Red. Shout out CP to the Red. Messiah. What up? Shout out to them, man. Check this out, man. This is the Rip 28 podcast, man. It's a podcast where a few friends get together and we talk about a few things. Now, some of those things you might like, some of those things you might not like, but we're going to keep on talking about them on the Rip 28 podcast. I want to let everybody know today is April the 22nd. Tomorrow is the greatest day in the history of all mankind. Oh, April 23rd, 1979, a star was born. The so one and only, beast, 45 years old, the <laughs> one and <laughs> only <laughs> Sylvester <laughs> O. Williams was born. My God. My oh, God. oldest. Shout oh, out to the boy. Oh, oh, they got a strong boy. My oh, birthday boy. is tomorrow, so make sure on tomorrow. No Make way. sure you go and tell a friend to subscribe, or you can give me some money <laughs> on Cash App. Either one. Slide dog, dollar sign, slide dog 49. Dollar sign, slide dog 49. <laughs> you been sure. dirty, slide dog. Hey, it don't matter. If you watch this today, get that man some tomorrow, money so he can get some new t shirts. Oh, uh, my, my <laughs> well, at least, at least you up, try bro. to put around that line. My wife going to beat you up. She don't appreciate you talking about me like that. She she agreed. Deep she down the she agreed. But like well, she, she got your back. That, and, and she tried we, to throw that shirt wanna... away last week, and he would let her throw it away. You know the funny thing no, is when she they did, met when they met, Sean. She did. It, it, it was in the garage. I had to get, mm -hmm. I had to get it out the garage. This is my red skin shirt. It ain't going no way. Never. All right, we'll see you next week on the Rip Twenty Eight podcast. We holla. <laughs>